Hey everyone, well, I'm from my sister 4 here, and today we're going to continue on with some more CTR Nitro Fuel Furnace Celebration 4 with some mattress knowledge into your brain. Today, we're going to be starting with some Crash Nitro Car, the game I actually grew up with when it comes to these racing games, more than anything. So, this one kind of hits a little home. In fact, you can even tell because Infernal Island, believe it or not, is the only track I currently have where I've beaten the freaking developer time. And even then, by like a couple milliseconds, I have to switch to speed just to even make this a possibility. That's how crazy tight these times are. I don't think I'm gonna get all of these, but it'll be something I'll look into later in the future. Right now, I'm just focusing on trying to get all the cup races done so I can get those decals. And when this is the only thing I have to unlock, maybe then I'll focus on like getting all the times. But this time, we're focused on the track itself. Ain't this amazing? Like, I, oh yeah, by the way, I was thinking about going like a specific character for this one, uh, but I couldn't really guess who I wanted here. Like at first I wanted the uh, Emperor Vila 27 here, but I was like, nah, like other than the moon, there's really nothing that says this screams Vila. I also wanted Kronk and believe it or not, Kronk was a, a better candidate in this selection. Like the selection pool, but excuse me. Uh, but even then, he also has his own level, Jungle Boogie, which is right next to this one, both in the ga actual game Metro Card and this one. All right, so enough of that. So right off the bat, as you already saw, it's just mostly a straight line you have to drive through here with a couple of turns, right? That this is all we're seeing right now, right? Like, you can go a little bit more inward there for faster times. Specifically with power sliding, there's a toe pad here. Keep that in mind because there's only two in this entire level. Just keep it mostly straight, as straight as possible. Make some tight turns if necessary, as close to the wall as possible without touching it. But here's the juicy bit, somewhat at least. There's a shortcut right here. Not a very significant one, but you can get air boost off of it. And specifically, you can just cut through a couple of seconds off of it going through the normal way. There's a ramp that, really, realistically speaking, isn't really useful. In fact, the only reason I can think of you going that far into the ramp is just for the CTR challenge. And sort of the same situation here, where it goes out of the way again. This is where the second turbo pad is, and there's a high enough jump to get some air boost. But well, on the bright side, it makes cutting through that little area on the last turn a little more consistently. Other than that, that's really mostly it for the course. Keep your power slides in check. Keep a nice, consistent route as close to the wall as possible without touching it. That's the difficult part for time trials. And keep those two turtle patterns in mind in a real race. Same with the very first shortcut on the lap because there are times where people will try hiding some uh, items in the shortcut, much like with the other shortcuts I've shown on the other tracks. But for that one specifically, just keep that in mind when you're either far enough to lead or just barely close. Just a few things to keep in mind, really. So other than that, it's a really simple course to keep in the track. In fact, a lot of people do make a good comparison on this to Crash Cove. And I do think it's actually kind of valid. Like, there's just so many similarities between the two. How would you not see the sim resemblance? Anyway, in the next one, we're going to be going on to Jungle Boogie, where we'll actually play Kronk. But for the time being, if I told you so far, thank you guys for watching. Keep your nitros ready because now, I really want to sing the song, but I'll save it for the next video.